Dr. Eric Balkavage, and we're back for another edition of Methylation Monday. And today I just want to talk to you about this term colonization resistance. It's really important from a standpoint of helping people with methylation problems because the health of the gut biome is critical to their ability to absorb the nutrients that are going to help uh, optimize their methylation processes. So this term colonization resistance is, is pretty important. It's in, I think it's important that you understand what it means. And essentially what it means is that when the commensal organisms of the, of the GI tract are at optimal levels, they can keep the opportunistic and the pathogenic organisms that still may be within the GI tract at, from really establishing a foothold and creating challenges and problems. But due to our lifestyle, due to the stressors that we come in contact with, uh, food, things like gluten, alcohol, medications, antibiotics, and just overall stress in general, we can really damage the gut flora, especially the commensal gut flora, allowing the opportunistic and pathogenic organisms, and organisms to get a hold in that GI tract, really disrupt GI function, really trigger inflammatory processes, inhibit the, the absorption of the nutrients that are critical for health and methylation processes, and really set the stage for poor health. So one of the best things you can do for your patients is to really address gut function early and try and reestablish the best you can optimal gut flora so that the gut bacteria and the gut flora that's there, the good stuff, can keep the opportunistic and the, and the pathogenic organisms at bay. So that's today's Methylation Monday tip. Look for another tip next Monday. Take care.